today we're going to be talking about addressing envelopes in Cricut Design Space. Hi everybody, Nick here from thebeardedhousewife.com, the blog and the YouTube channel that shows you simple ways to craft your house into a home. Today I'm doing a quick Cricut 101 lesson on addressing envelopes with your Cricut cutting machine. I've had some readers on my blog ask me how to address the envelopes for the cards that they make using their Cricuts, so I thought I would do a little tutorial on how I think you should do this. I've come up with two different options you can choose from. One option is making and addressing your envelope in Cricut Design Space, which is my preferred way to do this or using a pre-made envelope which can still be done uh, but it's a little bit more tricky. So why don't we go ahead and get started. While I include envelopes for all of my card tutorials, I created a batch of envelopes just for this lesson. You can find them in my free resource library on my blog at thebeardedhousewife.com. The file for these, uh, for these envelopes is number 67 in the library. This envelope here is the A7 envelope that fits a 5x7 card. I also have an A2 size, which is uh, the size for like insert cards. Um, A6 size, and then a number 10 or a business size envelope. Those are all included in the download. Uh, just a quick note about that business envelope size. If you are going to make one of those envelopes, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is at least 18 inches long. Just because of the sheer size of the envelope, that's why you need that longer piece if you're going to make that envelope. Okay. First things first, for this uh, 5x7 envelope, we need to head over to the Layers panel, highlight the group, and then come down and click Detach. That's because I have already set the score line for you, but because we're adding text to this file, you don't want it to be attached to begin with because it could cause some problems. Now we can go ahead and add our recipient's information. I'm going to align that to center and change the style to writing because we want to use our Cricut pens to uh, draw out the address. If you need help on using writing fonts in Cricut Design Space, I have a video and a tutorial on that. I will link that above. Go ahead and resize this. I'm going to duplicate this and add my return label and then I will resize these in just a minute. I'm going to take this over and rotate it so that it is a little bit easier for me to place. So let's start with the recipient's address can resize this one and rotate it around you're gonna want this to flip upside down because this is the back flap for the envelope that looks pretty good and then I'm going to highlight the recipient and the, uh, I'm sorry, the recipient and the return and just ch check the alignment here. You want to rotate the envelope back to more of a square shape and then click make it. All right, and you see the score line, the pen, and then it's going to cut the envelope out. We can go ahead and click continue. You can choose your materials and then we can go ahead and cut it out really quick. Thank you. 
Now, let's say you want to mail like a uh, business document or a professional document or uh, you have gotten your wedding invitations and save the dates from another company and now you want to address those envelopes. Uh, there is a way to do it. It is a little bit trickier than doing it all at the same time because you're going to have to make sure that you manipulate it right on the map preview uh, screen. But I will show you what I'm talking about. In the download for the envelopes, there's actually a PDF document that shows you the dimensions of commonly used uh, envelopes. So you can then take those dimensions and then apply what I'm about to show you in for your situation. So let's say that we want to do a business, uh, a business envelope. So we need to come into the shapes tool and get the square. Unlock it. A business size envelope is 3.88 inches high by 9.75 inches wide okay so this is to represent our envelope I'm gonna change this to white okay now just to make sure that we have the sizing right place that on there I'm gonna highlight both and center horizontally then bring the return That looks good right there. Now, you do not want to attach everything because what that will do is then it will tell your machine that you want these two addresses to be drawn on with the pen, but then you want this to be cut out. That's not what we want. So you wanna make sure that you highlight both the recipient's address and your return address, and then hit attach. Okay, then head up to make it. See, this is just the text layer and this one is our, uh, our square that's to represent the envelope. I'm going to move it to the first mat just so we can play with the placement. Now, like I said, using pre-made envelopes, it's, you have to make sure that you place it correctly. So if this is our envelope, I don't want to put it all the way up here because our mats, the space is 12 by 12, but our cutting surface is 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So we can't really line up, if we went right here into the corner, we can't really line up our text right there because the Cricut just won't, it won't move past these red borders here. So I'm going to bring what is supposed to be our envelope down to start right here at the corner of one and one and now I'll bring my text over and that looks about good see so this is our envelope and then this is where the text is gonna go so I'm gonna get rid of this envelope layer and now we're just left with the text. Now, when we go to uh, place our envelope on our mat, we want to make sure that we line up that left-hand corner at the one and one. All right, now we can go ahead and click continue. And then select our material, and then we can go ahead and make that one. All right, that's it. Um, as you can see, I think that the first option is a lot easier. Um, there's not as much worrying about where you place the layer on your mat to make sure that it lines up properly. That could be part of the reason that some people were having some issues with addressing their envelopes. Um, if you can't do that, I understand that you can't, you know, you can't always just make your envelopes. 
that's why I showed you how to do the second option. So you just do whatever you feel more comfortable with or what you can do in your own situation. I hope that this video was helpful and I hope that you learned something new. Make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel and head over to my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com for lots of card tutorials and Cricut graphs. I'm Nick. I'm the Bearded Housewife. I will see everyone soon. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.